Oh! 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 Well, this is about PMS, really, is what it's about, okay? I hate to say it, and I am, I am nearly menopausal. Menopause officially means that a woman's menses have stopped for one full year. That's what menopause is. Anything prior to that is actually termed perimenopause. Mm -hmm. So I haven't been, I have been in perimenopause for quite some time. Now to the point where my body has tapered down to maybe half a day or one day a month of menses. So even though I'm, I'm, I'm moving into the next phase of womanhood, I still crave sweets mm -hmm. at just one certain time per month and so this is this is what I like to call PMS food and just a small pumpkin bunt cake have a creme brulee what I'm about to do is excuse me What's that? is it possible to have a bit more of this frosting uh, we've had to melt it and everything it should take about 10 minutes Come back. They have, oh, look at this. This is That's your really boiler. nice. On top. Yes. That's which pretty is cool. That's how it is in England. I was interested in this. I was a bit disappointed that it wasn't a sub zero. However, mm. LG will do. This is British. Okay. This is what is the done thing in our home in England. We get the plastic. It's just a plastic, like a Ziploc. It's thinner than Ziploc baggy plastic. And it'll have a bit of an opening. And just fill it and seal it. Where's all the pecans out nowadays? This is chintzy. Look at that. I should only be here for one thing, and I'm looking at hummus. And hummus gives me gas. I really like hummus. Look She'll do it. <gasps> Coconut <gasps> milk, no. The to glass your right. bottle. To your right. That's the one. Yes. <laughs> you need that in your life. This is pure, pure gold right here. This is made up in Northern California, um, Petaluma. I'm telling you, this most flavorful. I don't even like eggnog, okay? I get plain vanilla ice cream. Same company. And I make a milkshake, eggnog milkshake, with wow. this right here. That's the richest this thing I've ever right heard of. Here. And the menu. Oh, weren't we shocked about the menu? Right. All you have on Friday is a Cobb oh, salad. Oh. Now, all these other days of the week, you've had a meal. On Friday, you get a salad. A Cobb salad is nothing but lettuce. Yeah. That's it. And dressing. And then on Saturday, you get question marks. <laughs> I've never even had a meal of question marks, so I'm wondering right now how it tastes and where I can purchase some. And then on Sunday, you get nothing. You get nothing. <laughs> okay, so they've wound it down towards the end of the week. You will eat leftovers, cob salad, question marks, and nothing. Virtually nothing. So let's try this again. There are other ice creams. Here's the straws I usually buy. This big one right here, vanilla bean. That's my, that's my straws right there non-GMO, you know, organic, sustainably created. Okay, so balsamic, aceto balsamico cannot be called that unless it's from Modena, Italy, because Modena has protected status over the word or over the product aceto balsamico. They make it in barrels, just like wine is casked. They, um, and they decant it you know, over periods of time down into smaller and smaller and smaller barrels until they have something that is akin to a syrup. <laughs> almost like a, uh, not as thick as a molasses, but almost as thick as a honey. So this is a way to know if you have a good quality. This is not a good quality. Mm. The reason why is because 
it falls, it moves like water. So mm -hmm. it's very, it's very thin. It's mm -hmm. not aged. When also when balsamico is very fine uh, quality, when you tip the bottle, all of this should remain coated mm -hmm. and black, like mm -hmm. a, like drinking a cognac when mm -hmm. you see it sticking to the glass and coming down. I pay forty one dollars per bottle for my achato wow. balsamico, and let me tell you, it lasts and lasts. The the the, the, the fragrance is so heady. It's like it, it, it's like in, inhaling alcohol. I use a chato for marinating my filet mignon and my rack of lamb. And sometimes I'll drizzle just a, a bit on a salad. Oh, well, you know, I support Amy's brand because they've kept it small and they've kept it real. Mm -hmm. And they've kept it non-GMO and they're one of the few companies that does non-GMO verified corn. Corn is the second one of, well, corn is the largest GMO crop in the U.S. Soy would be the second. Wheat is another. So to me, those things, those knowing that is very important and then making my food choices according to that knowledge is of utmost importance. So I support Amy's because they support my health. Something smells like pumpkin and I really want to eat it. Do you get your chocolate yes. truffles and we're getting out of here. I'll tell you what I do with it in England because in England we have it growing all along the front of our block. So I go out and pick the fresh flowers like this and I take this just these you know tips off the spears and I juice them in the mornings with our fruits. So if I'm doing apples, pears, strawberries, whatever. I give it, it gives it the essence of lavender as well as the any medicinal properties that it may have.